throughout the course, I have learned many things about Prince George's, Co Prince George's County educational system through my mentoring experience, and also I've learned a lot about America's educational experience. I will talk about school choice and school funding, stating what they are and how they've either affected me personally in my own educational experience or have seen them through my mentoring experience. So, school funding. It comes from either local, state, or federal government. Um, board sources are the main fund balance in the previous fiscal year. The funds are meant to improve the building, purchase and supplies, technology, teacher salaries, things like that. But there have been times when funds have been misused. Um, according to the article, why Title I spending does not work, principals were asked why Title were asked to report where they spent their Title I funds. The biggest area they reported for over 85% of those funds being used were in professional development. Very ironic when 75% or more of the students were either on or below the poverty line in which those funds could have been put in towards free or reduced lunches and then also um, free breakfasts because if this child is very hungry, they're not going to be focused on the lecture. In my own education, funding needed to be put towards technology. Our books were very old. They were from the 90s and very outdated and also our technology was outdated. Um, we were still using ThinkPads when I graduated from high school nearly two years ago, which is very ironic because I went to what was considered the technology high school, and my high school is fairly new. In Thomas Stone, they lack a lot of resources due to lack of funding, um, mainly teachers. Our program, from my knowledge, did not have a site supervisor because they simply could not afford one. So actually having that um, supervisor, I feel as though would have been beneficial to us when knowing what the students were struggling with in school, discipline and attendance, helping out with discipline and attendance. Let's talk about school choice. So, school choice describes the educational options parents can choose from when selecting how they want their kids to pursue their education in the public school setting. So, you can use public charter schools, magnet schools, or school vouchers. A public charter school is a publicly funded school that is typically governed by a group of organization and they basically just have to um, abide by certain accountability standards set by the state. Magnet schools are free public elementary and secondary schools. They're governed by a school district and they usually have a theme. So STEM, fine performing arts, um, career technology, world languages, things like that. And school vouchers, um, quote unquote, Opportunity scholarships, they're state funded scholarships that provide students with tuition to go to private schools instead of public schools. My education, I went to Catholic school, first and second grade, and then I also went to public school. And then for high school, I went to um, a magnet school that focused on science, technology, and industry. And they had various programs such as culinary arts, health occupation, construction, things like that. I was in the culinary arts program. It was very fun. I had to do what was required for high school diploma and a few electives to pass. Now, the educational department, the United States Education Department does no longer require the state of Maryland to participate in the public school choice program. For Prince George's County, I don't think it's a really good idea because they don't have a lot of school choice options. They do have a small window, which includes the public charter schools. Um, it's a lottery where students basically are thrown in and picked by picked out of a hat from luck of a draw and then they also have the specialty programs which include gifted and talented door language things like that it's also a lottery system but students actually have to apply and then they pick from the lottery from there and the placement is based upon your parents address and programs vary by like grade location and ability so you might start off on one program but you won't continue that program through high school which is not that great i think funding needs to be tightly watched throughout schools and i also believe that public school choice should be back to school so students can have more of an option. Um, next, I would like you to watch a video of me and my mentee, Brittany, and we're working on a problem in class. I was teaching her how to do um, multiplication with five, five numbers by three numbers, and we're doing like a crossword puzzle. Thank you. Nine 
the number the same? It's not. It is the same. So 54 divided by 6 is 9, and then 54 divided by 2 is 27 because...